This is Andy Porwell for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm delighted to be joined by another Brummy in Rob McCracken, yeah. trainer to Anthony Joshua. Rob, how are you? I'm all right, thanks. Good to hear. Um, obviously, we're having a brief chat off camera there, so people won't understand that. But uh, on with the show here, Joshua Usyk press conference. How's AJ look for at camp, Rob? Yeah, he's looked really good. He's been really happy. He's motivated. A massive challenge again, which you know, all of his all of his events are and his his opponents are. So it's one he's looked forward to. He's trained long and hard for. People are trying to, well, people are assuming he's maybe been a little leaner, he's looked a little bit like he's lost a bit of weight going into this fight. Can you tell us anything before the weigh-in tomorrow? Will AJ come in a bit lighter? Oh, you're coming, you know, it varies, you know, heavyweights, you know, they, they've only got to have a, 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 late, a late night meal and they've only got to have a breakfast and the weight changes dramatically. But no, he's in good shape. The main thing is, is whatever he weighs, he's in really, really good shape. Like I say, he's trained long and hard. He's really looking forward to it. And, you know, the challenge of Usyk, the, the you know, tremendous southpaw. It's going to be a fascinating fight. I mean, for you yourself, I'm sure you've watched him throughout your entire career, obviously, from that amateur scene. So going up against him now in the pro ranks, how much of an exciting challenge and prospect is this for yourself? Well, I think it's, it's, it's not an easy one. I think he's, he's, he's got lots to offer. You know, he's a tremendous boxer. He's shown that time and time again, Usyk. Him and Anthony won the gold in London and then they've both gone on to do unbelievably well at both their respective weights. Usyk, undisputed cruiserweight champion, you know, big Josh, unified heavyweight champion. So it doesn't get any bigger and any better than this. But, you know, Anthony's round the corner from where he comes from. He's in his backyard. He's fully motivated. He's trained long and hard for this fight and it's one he intends to win. And we're very confident he'll win. But it's going to be a great fight. You mentioned you're very confident that you're going to win. AJ said to us he's coming for the knockout and he's confident he'll get the stoppage victory. Is that at the forefront of your minds? Do you believe this one is stopped with inside the distance? No, I just think you've got to be really careful. When you've got two big guys in the ring with tiny gloves on, you can't just go loading up with shots and you can't start swinging because you'll get caught. So, you know, you've got to be smart while you're in there, but you've also got to impose yourself on the opponent and do it smartly. And that's what this, this, this fight's all about. Got to hit, hit him, keep him off balance and work him over and you'll get the win. But you've got to be smart doing it. You can't just walk in. What did you make of seeing Alexander up on the stage today? Did, do you think he's bulked up a bit uh, up at heavyweight now? Yeah, but they, they're professionals. They know what they're doing. He'll be, he'll be in optimum condition. You know, he'll have trained long and hard, the same as Big Josh. It's, it's two tremendous fighters going at it Saturday night. But um, like I say, Big Josh is in his backyard and he's ready. What is the approach to this fight, Rob? How do you kind of use AJ's best attributes to work around Alexander's best attributes? Just control the opponent while you're in there and don't let him set things up and, and compose yourself and then dominate the opponent. That's what you have to do in this game. Don't let him settle and don't let him have three shots at you. Control him, keep him off balance and start to land shots on him. And Big Josh hits hard. He's not going to load up, but he hits hard. And once he starts hitting him, then we'll see where Usyk's at. When you go back to that unsuccessful night in New York for Ruiz defeat, Rob, since then... What's impressed you most about how Anthony's returned, come back, picked up his titles in Saudi, beat Kubrat, Pulev, leading to this? What's impressed you the most about Anthony? Well, he's, you know, his his mindset is has always been the same, and this, you know, he's, this is why you know fights like him and Klitschko happened, him and Usyk happened, and, and many others. Uh, you know, he, he he respects the opponents, but he believes in himself, and that's what boxing is all about. And you know, he, he's going to come out on Saturday night, and he's going to defend his titles in his backyard against a really good fighter but you know we believe that the preparation is done and the fighter that he is will be good enough on Saturday night. Rob what do you make of you know you mentioned the likes of Klitschko we've mentioned Pulev, Alexander Povetkin amongst others but Tyson Fury said he doesn't feel that AJ's fought fighters in their prime what do you make of those comments? I just think fighters are, 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 are opponents of each other and you know they're around the same weight so that you know they're not you know they're always going to cover each other in praise and gl glory are they I'm sure you know, in time to come, you, you look at fighters' resumes and you say, you know what, he fought some pretty good fighters. And listen, Big Josh fought Klitschko, in, you know, he hadn't been a pro two and a half years, so, you know, three years. So, you know, he, you know, he fought for the title two and a half years. So, you know, he's, he's just gone for it. He's been fast-tracked and he's gone for it. And he's been learning on the job. There's no secret about that. But he's fought, fought some pretty good fighters along the way. And that's got him to where he is now in a great fight again with Usyk. And um, Usyk certainly in his peak. So, you know another challenge for Josh. Rob AJ said to us that when, when kind of a Fury, he'd love this week, sorry, to have been the Fury fight, to have been that undisputed fight. I'm sure you're the same. You'd have loved to have seen it yourself. When all of that 
fell out and it didn't go ahead. What was your take on it? I never, I never heard your thoughts. No, it's just boxing, and boxing happen. Things happen in a week in boxing. You know, there's, there's you know, the, things are con- not not always simple. It's complex. Things are complicated. Things happen at other times or happen straight away. But you just all that matters is the fight on Saturday night. You know, it's it's a serious uh, challenger in Oligan Zusik. Very, very good fighter. It's one we've got to take deadly serious. Big Josh has. And, you know, let's get this fight out of the way before we start to talk or think about other things. Just want to get your thoughts out on Fury Wilder 3 two weeks after Saturday night. What is your take on it? What do you think will happen? Um, well, you know, not the same take I had the last time. You know, with you know Tyson's ability and experience. I think I think Wilder's a, a very good fighter and, you know, a really good puncher. But, um, you know, you ask me who I think is going to win. Tyson will win because I think he's he's got the talent and the, and the experience to, to win the fight. Simple. And just one more fight which has been announced to get your thoughts on the pair of your Dylan White, Otto Varlin, again your take Rob. Yeah, um, tremendous fight. Is that is that fight on? I don't, I, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, Otto Varlin. yeah that, that's where I've been. I've been in camp. I've been in the Olympic then I've been in camp. Um, so uh, apologies for not knowing that. Um, yeah, no, it's a really, really interesting fight. Um, yeah. yeah. I'll go for Dylan, but I do like Otto. He's, he's a really good fighter. You know, he boxed Tyson Fury, put up a really good show. But yeah, Dylan's rounded and experienced, got some good wins now. Uh, yeah, I'll go for Dylan. Just a word on the Olympians, a very successful cycle out in, at the recent Olympics. Yeah, it was phenomenal. Um, you know, they you know, they, they stayed on the programme for a, a period of time, some of them as long as eight years, 12 years, six years. So, you know, to see them put the effort in, work hard, improve, develop over the years and then go out there and do really well and win medals. And the boxers that didn't win medals boxed tremendously well out there as well and had very close fights. So it's a really strong team. It was a fantastic team to be a part of and, you know, good luck to all of the boxers who do turn professional and hopefully we can keep hold of some of them and they don't turn professional. But we'll, <laughs> but we'll see. Rob, it's a pleasure as always. Thank, thank you for you. speaking to me. Cheers, thank you. Thank you.